John Survivor Blake of Slam Richmond. This is called Bedtime Story. There are no recruiting stations in rich neighborhoods because haves and like the have-nots have no problem paying their bills. Recruiting stations are always erected in ghettos where the have-nots and like the haves have to climb Hamburger Hill for some GI Bill. See, the date changes, but the day is always the same. Always today, no different than yesterday, with this exception of modified propaganda. Now that we're properly giving props to crops of soldier boys that make it back home, where their mothers can tuck them back in in our ghettos, our domestic Soweto, where the hunt has always been on, where traps are set to get ghetto boys listening to lullabies of lies as they sleepwalk about how they can evade the hunt. One week in a month, and two weeks in the summer, by running face first into star spangled banners that read, politics make strange bedfellows. And he neglect to tell these children the beds they make them home in are hollow, as hollow ticks make for strange lead bellows leading to nightcaps peeled off of blood red wine and so many vintages, bottles of broken boys, perfectly aged, 18 years, best consumed young, boxed up, exported to new vineyards, Vietnam, Korea, Guantanamo Bay, Bosnia, Somalia, Afghanistan, Iraq, Kuwait, and the vineyards and vintages keep changing, but the taste of blood is always the same. It all tastes like street corner 40s from Normandy that we've been sucking on for years, still pouring some out for the ghetto boys no longer here, thanks to some recruiter, a baby looter with his friendly hello that leaves night, fellows. That's why follow ticks make for blood-stained red ghettos, and hollow points are pointing blame, but fault there's only a matter of perception through the gun sights of tank cannon tantrums overseas while Patriot acts like a baby back home, knocking down civil rights while burning up children with ultra-violent plights of screaming missiles and cluster bombs, causing crevices and sand on distant land till every shell station is satiated. Oh, say, can't you see? As they've been digging in our pockets for new rockets, Red Blair. The bombs always bursting in midair, causing fire, smoke, and mirrors, all an illusion of change. Taking our taxes, never bringing back our change. Only the White House scandals seem to change. New faces every four or five years reflecting an election, but everything stays the same. These kids have been dying in the ghettos daily, and they keep it private. About the unemployment and the starvation that they keep private. And that bloody business, that street business they try to keep private. All as if it's a boot camp or some federal business. Welcome aboard, private. That's what they say. And it'll look great on your resume. Bang, the young recruit, the 21 gun salute. Some mother's one and only son in an army of one, but won't be the only one dead today. Not one tear from the recruiter that led this boy to an ASVAB test with a lead pencil leading to score, leading to war, leading to his casket. Leading mothers to puffing pillows and coffins, often because their sons only wanted to make their own beds. And the military now tries to make them look as comfortable as possible with a red, white, and blue blanket that never kept them warm a single night in the project, so he sleeps now, peaceful, maybe for the first time in his poverty-stricken life. Thank God there's no need to wake the dead and thank them for how far down gas prices have dropped now. See, ghetto mothers don't scream, don't flinch. Hell, they don't even blink at the sounds of gunshots anymore. It's nothing, Mr. President, that they haven't heard before.